Let's say you've been trying to buy a house, but your low credit score keeps giving you bad mortgage deals. Credit scores can be huge as a factor in your financial life. It could determine if you get the keys to your new house or a new car or even a used car. If you take care of your credit score, it really will give you a better life. As much as possible, don't let it drop. If you let your credit score drop, it's going to have consequences. Hi, my name is Manif. I'm a tried and tested multiple brick and mortar business owner. I've closed billions of dollars in my last 25 years in business, and I started this YouTube channel so that I can help more people achieve financial freedom and success. So let's get it started. Creditors actually keep track of your payments, and the most obvious way to get your credit score lowered is to not make payments on time, especially if you're more than 30 days late. If you haven't made payments in over 30 day mark, the bank will go ahead and report you to the credit bureau, which will lower your score. It'll make it harder for you to get that dream house or that car you wanted, and then you end up blaming them. And it's always difficult to lend to someone who has a history of not paying on time. So understand it from their point of view as well. If you made an expensive purchase right before your due date for your bill and you go over your max or very close to it, it can have an impact. Even if you pay the whole balance off outright, you've already gone to your near limit or you've made a huge purchase that takes up most of your remaining balance. So just knowing when your billing cycles start and end is important so you won't get too close to the end and make large purchases. Get to know when your billing cycles are so that you don't make the mistake of making large purchases that increase your credit balance. Again, this happens if you buy something large near your billing cycle end. So set aside due dates and make sure that you know when the closing dates are. One of the scary stories you hear from credit users is that your account was sent to collections. Not only does your credit score drop, but it will significantly affect your credit history, making it harder for you to borrow in the future and more expensive. It usually takes one whole year for your creditors to reset your account and clear its credit history. And during that time, it's hard for you to get loans because of the negative mark. And the negative mark is one of the first things that pop out at creditors. So pay on time, try to pay in full. And this doesn't only apply to credit cards, but to all loans, make sure you don't go into collections. It might be really obvious, but some people continue to make that mistake. Every transaction you make can affect your credit score. And that's one of the primary bases of how they calculate your credit score each month. Now, this is something that is also a bit out of your control. Sometimes it's based on the bank's scorecards with the credit bracket you belong to. You'll be put up against people with better credit scores in history, and when they see that you have a lower score than the rest of the bracket, they might reduce your score for that particular month. That's why it's always recommended to pay what you have used as soon as you possibly can so you look clean and responsible in the eyes of your creditors. Now, don't fall for pesky ads that offer you new credit cards because you keep applying for new credit cards, and that too will lower your credit score, especially if you're behind with previous credit cards. It's a sign to creditors that you are a risky credit holder. So it's best to wait at least 12 months before applying for a new card without any late payments on your credit history, and you have had that reset already happen. Sometimes your bank will lower your credit limit based on their assessment of your credit score, and sometimes you might request it yourself. If you or your bank lower your credit limit while you have unpaid items on your account, your credit limit will appear to be fully utilized and this will again lower your score. This type of scenario might be out of your control if the bank does it, but be aware of what your credit limit is all the time. They do have the power to lower it and you might miss a notification. Topic aside, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. It's really been a huge support for me. And if you want to learn more about finances and personal development, you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. There, I provide various different approaches about educating people about financial freedom and personal development. Go ahead and click the links down below for more information. If you decided to close your credit card or your bank account, it can also affect your credit score if you still have a balance that's unpaid or transactions that are still not completed. To safely close an account, make sure that every transaction is done and all debts are paid. Make sure to call your bank as well to see if it's safe for you to close your account. And that's why it's also recommended to track every account so that you can avoid any mishaps like closing an account with debts. Just closing an account in general can lower your score, cause creditors and your credit scores to fall as well. So those are some of the reasons why your credit score might fall. Again, these scenarios are mostly avoidable by making full payments on time, setting aside key factors, like knowing when your bills are due, knowing how much of your limits you have. If you clean it all up, you'll be able to not only practice better spending habits and budgeting, but this can also get you better deals on buying a house and buying a car, and you become more financially aware of your situation. 
I also like for you to get into the habit and liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Watch this video next on credit cards, effective tips on how to improve your credit score fast.